Back in Episode 2, we reviewed System Shock based on an advanced copy that fell in our lap. Shortly thereafter, Looking Glass and Origin decided to hold on to the game until the fall. Now the floppy version has been released, so it's time to take another look at the dangers that await in Citadel Station. As you might expect, there's been some minor tweaking going on in the past few months. Literally, the first thing you'll notice when a game is started is the inclusion of a big help screen, reminiscent of the one found in Master of Orion. There's a lot to be seen in System Shock, both in the station and in your interface, and this is a good way to get a feel for the game. Help will also pop up to instruct you on how to interact with your surroundings. Both help systems disappear automatically after a few minutes, but can be re-invoked. The big improvement is the somewhat redesigned cyberspace realm, which was extremely disorienting a few months ago. Although it can still be confusing, cyberspace is much easier to navigate in now, allowing you to control your character in three dimensions instead of two. Also, doors will now inform you that they are cyberspace locked instead of simply refusing to open. System Shock is destined to be a classic. It offers combat, exploration, and puzzle solving, all with individual difficulty levels. Plans for the enhanced CD release include digitized speech for all log entries and messages, more levels, and SVGA graphics. But if you can't wait for the CD to arrive, don't worry, we'll understand. 